Insider Adrian Wojnarowski, let's get a little bit more into the news <laughs> of this game. Woj, we have not seen Lonzo Ball this season. He's been out after having that left knee surgery. What's the latest with him? Yeah, Malika, Lonzo Ball hasn't played point guard for the Bulls since January of last season. It's been almost 11 months. And there, there are no guarantees, I'm told, that he plays at all this season. He's, he's rehabbing that knee now. He's still feeling some pain in it. And I think the hope is that perhaps by the All-Star break in mid-February, you know, they have a sense of whether you know, Lonzo Ball is ready to come back and play for Chicago. But I think a lot of that may depend on where are the Bulls in the standings. And right now, they're 11th. They're out of the playoff picture. And I think they're lingering around that area. There'll be a real decision to be made uh, about whether he plays at all. But certainly, you can mark... Uh, really, the, the 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 downward spiral of this team uh, at, at the beginning of that injury last January. They they looked like a team that was headed for a home playoff series in the Eastern Conference, mm. and I think there's going to certainly be some decisions to be made for this Bulls team at the trade deadline if they don't improve and and they take a look at this core. Uh, but right now, Lonzo Ball, uh, there's no real expectation you'll see him at least perhaps until around the All-Star break in mid-February. All right, no Lonzo Ball, we expect, at least until around the All-Star break, and then we can kind of see more of a timeline from there. Woj, thank you so much for that. This is is really devastating, potentially, news for the Bulls, because as Woj said, they got out the gates red hot last season, and then this year, they have just struggled to get it together, Richard. What do you think of what we just heard from Adrian, and how will this continue to affect the Bulls? Well, look, look, they know. It's been a long time. So they are they were fully prepared coming into the season knowing that Lonzo probably wasn't going to be ready or at least approaching it that way. Look, I think the Nick the or excuse me, the Bulls have done a great job getting themselves to this spot, right? They've got multiple All-Stars in my opinion on their roster. Vucevic has been a multiple-time All-Star. DeMar DeRozan was one of the surprise picks up pickups a couple of summers ago. And then Zach Levine it seems like he's been growing every single year since he's been in the league. It just hasn't come together yet I do feel low that they shouldn't give up on it yet I still think that there is more to be had they got to get healthy Perk where do you fall on this mm. well <clears throat> I feel like they really really miss Lonzo Ball mm. I mean just think about it last season at this time we was talking about how they was pushing the pace we was watching so many highlights the alley hoop dunks and all the all the above and so when you think about Lonzo Ball you think about the kick kick ahead passes you think about you know the full court outlet passes that get them out in transition and when you think when you saw teams around the league the scouting report was you better get back in transition with the Chicago Bulls easy buckets but now they have to play in the half court set Teams are low enough. And yes, DeMar can make tough shots along with Zach Levine, but they're low percentage shots. When you could get easy buckets as a young star, it's easier for the team and it's going to result in wins. Right. Janae? I think it's exactly what they said. You know, Lonzo is that cog. And people aren't really talking about how he really changed his shot. And that went from, what, 30% from three to almost 40% from three. So they miss mm -hmm. him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.